Hi, y'all. It's Jenny. Say another bad hair day. I don't like it when it does like a bunch of boom, boom, boom. I kind of like it just hanging like this more. <laughs> it's like my bad hair day. It's usually like if this side looked like this, then I'd be fine. I prefer this side, but if they both match, it's when they don't match that I call it my bad hair day, but whatever. I don't know. I still have to jump in the shower today, so I shouldn't be too hard on myself, and it, you really don't care. So here we go. Um, today, I found in the protocol that there actually is one more area about um, stalls that Dr. Simeon's mentioned, a fourth one. So I'm going to briefly talk about that today. Um, last night, right as I was teaching my evening classes, I got a text from a girlfriend who we've been meaning to get together and do lunch for about a month, and things have been coming up, and then she texted me and said, I got this great egg casserole that I made come over for breakfast. And so I responded and said, yes. Now, she is the gal who got me into HCG. So I could text her back later this morning. I'm sorry, my WeChat is going. The In China, they don't have all the social media we do, you know, because it's a dictatorship and they don't have access to Google or Facebook. or. Um, but they do have an app called WeChat. And um, this girl that I just taught a class with is connected on it. So um, those are the dings, if you hear them. I don't know if you can hear them or not. They're annoying me, but um, she's writing me back. <laughs> um, all right, I digress. So I found one more section. I'm going to go over it briefly. So um, I was saying that my girlfriend, who introduced me to HCG um, years and years and years ago, is um, the one that asked me. So I could text her this morning and say, FYI, it, don't be offended if I don't eat a lot. And I wanted to say this because I didn't want her to prepare like a whole bunch of fruit and um, toast and that kind of stuff. Um, so I just said, I'm doing HCG 2.0 because I'm sure she'd be confused as to why I'm going to eat this egg casserole, but it's just going to be my meal. I'm like kicking myself that 11 o'clock in the morning is my meal for the day. <laughs> I might just cook up some vegetables and have a plate of vegetables later because I don't know how much vegetables she'll have. Um, so that'll be good. But I don't think I'm going to be able to have more protein because I'm sure the amount of protein in, in what I eat is going to be significant. Um, so anyway, it's going to be, I mean, I always take like a two-hour nap during the day. So it's going to be a rough day today because I'm going to finish this. I do have a lot more energy than I had yesterday. Man, I was tired yesterday. Um at 11 o'clock, it's only 8 a.m. and I'm done with all my classes, but I get up at 4. Um, and I thought I'd just take a quick nap for like an hour or two. All right. Huh. This girl's just chatting away with me. Um, but I think I have enough energy that after this video, I'm going to get on the treadmill, take a shower, get myself together, and just maybe do some paperwork and stuff for my businesses or clean the house. I always need something to clean the house. I'm I'm doing the uh forty day purge, if you've heard about that. I'll talk about it another time if I remember. But I love it and I need it because I'm a little bit of a hoarder. My husband's a huge hoarder. He won't admit it. I tried to get him to do it with me. He told me, Oh, this is a great idea. We have too much stuff around here. But you know, the first thing he said is don't touch anything of mine. If he only knew how much stuff is over the years I've gotten rid of. And of course, the things that he misplaces and loses are not the things I've touched at all. They're always like important things I would never touch. But like, you know, the number of stained t-shirts that he'll keep re-wearing when there's perfectly good t-shirts around. Like, I mean, I've gone, it's basically his clothes or the things I've gone through and gotten rid of. Sometimes like some outdoor broken plastic bins and things he uses for gardening and that like we don't need 25 of them so I'll get rid of some of those at times okay um you don't care I'm gonna go probably re-record no I'm not gonna re-record this let's just keep going all right so here we go today I got on the scale and I said 162.5 so that was a loss of 1.1 which is great on day five so I have a total loss of 11.1 starting after loading. I didn't do a preload weight, so I logically should subtract about five of that. I think I've lost about 6.1 in five days. Awesome. Really, really good numbers. That's probably the best numbers I've ever had on this diet. And I really don't know why. I can't understand it. 
sometimes is much more successful than other times on this diet. So we'll see. I ordered more drops and I had forgotten how it takes about two weeks to get them. <laughs> so I hope I have enough left from this last time that I did it to get me through. I'm taking the drops morning and evening. Um, and I want to stay on that. I think sometimes I've only taken them once a day and I don't know if that affects my weight loss or not, but this twice a day, I mean, I just want to keep doing what I'm doing because it seems to be successful. So here we go. All right. Um, I'll let you know how tomorrow goes. On top of the fact I'm eating something unusual now, I'm sure the egg casserole is fine and it's probably eggs and vegetables and stuff. And in general, she's a lot like me where we kind of try to eat healthy when we're not on HCG. In fact, when I texted her, she's like, I should probably get a bottle of that. I'm like, oh, I just ordered some more. I'll give you a bottle if you want. Um, she's like, that'd be great. So um, I did the cheapest one. I did four bottles. So they're only $25 a bottle. So that's four rounds that I have. I may as well give one to somebody because I don't see four more rounds in my future. I've done four rounds in the past. I don't know how many years, but they do have a two year shelf life. So, um, so there you go. That's a whole separate video all about drops. All right. Let me pull up here the little bit extra that, um, he mentions about an interruption in weight loss. And it is menstruation. And we've talked about menstruation in the past. Um, I don't know if we've, I, we've talked about what you should do about taking your HCG during menstruation. Um, and we've just talked about the scale kind of in general, I guess basically what this is going to say, because I have talked about how the scale can be funky because of water retention either premenstrual or sometimes during menstruation, you know, like every, every woman is different. All right. This is very short. It's going to be short because I really need to get going here today. All right. The fourth type of interruption, I'm reading this now. Okay. I rewatched a video the other day of something I was reading and I realized you can't tell when I'm reading the protocol and when I'm giving my own embellishments. I apologize for that. So I should do like a lean forward when I'm reading, lean back when I'm talking myself so that you're aware. Because some of his parts of the protocol protocol are conversational um, and they sound not like, a, like, you know, an article you journal or something like that or a published paper. Um, it seems much more, um, oh my goodness, ding, ding, ding. Um, it sounds more conversational. And so then I'll throw in something in there too. And I could tell, I, I was watching it and I was like, oh yeah, that wasn't in the protocol. Like I, and I'm the one that read it. So I knew what was in the protocol. So I understand that you guys might be confused. Suffice it to say, if it, it, it doesn't matter. Anyway, it's all accurate information. <laughs> so here we go. Menstrual interruption. The fourth type of interruption is the one which often occurs a few days before and during the menstrual period and in some women at the time of ovulation. It must also be mentioned that when a woman becomes pregnant during treatment, and this is by no means uncommon, she is once... She at once ceases to lose weight. Interesting, isn't that? Okay. An unexplained arrest of reduction has on several occasions raised our suspicion before the first period was missed. If in such, it should be cases, it says eases, is in such cases menstruation is delayed. We stop injecting and do not and do a, precip a precipitation test five days later. I glanced this over. I glanced this over before I read it and I didn't realize some of these sentences I could probably just eliminate. Okay. No pregnancy test should be carried out earlier than five days after the last injection as otherwise HCG may give a false positive result. Oral, contracepti oral contraceptives may be used during treatment. Okay. I just realized that this really isn't menstruation. This is getting pregnant. <laughs> um, we were going to talk about, I mean, I guess he did mention water. Retain. He mentioned like one sentence about it. Some people retain water premenstrual. Some do during their periods and some do during ovulation, which is not 
during menstruation at all. So everyone's different. Don't freak out. There could be multiple reasons why you're in the stall. We talked about three other ones prior to today's video. Um, but let's just talk about pregnancy for a second. I find it interesting that he made the comment, which is not uncommon. People, it is not uncommon for people to get pregnant while they are on HCG. So I don't know, maybe women are feeling good about themselves and they're getting it on more than they did before. Um, or maybe they were too obese and their body had to lose some of that weight to be effectively um, in shape to get pregnant. I don't know. No, but I find it funny that he made a point to say that it's not uncommon that women get pregnant on HCG. All right. Um, the last sentence I want to point out and just sort of drive home again. Um, no pregnancy test should be carried out earlier than five days after the last injection or after the last dosage that you receive. Um, or it may give a false positive. That's because HCG is a pregnancy hormone. We do not naturally produce it except for when we are pregnant. So. When you take a pregnancy test and you get the little plus sign on it, it is an indication of HCG in your body. So all of us on HCG will take a pregnancy test. It will all say that we're pregnant right now. So don't take a pregnancy test when you're on HCG because it says, yes, you're pregnant. There was a funny story of a professional athlete. It wasn't that long ago. It was within this past year. Um, there's a professional athlete taking a pregnancy test, uh, taking a pregnancy test, taking a drug test, and um, the drug test came back and said that um, he was pregnant. <laughs> so um, if he was smart enough, he would have said, "Oh." I'm taking the HCG hormone because I'm dieting, <laughs> but he probably didn't know anything about it. The reality is he used his girlfriend's urine for the drug test um, and subsequently was suspended because <laughs> clearly if you're not going to use your own, there's a reason why. Um, so yes, even men will, sh will give a uh, positive test result on a pregnancy test um, if they're on the HCG diet because that is what... Um, the hormone does. Uh, shows up during pregnancy. But there's no harm in men taking the HCG hormone, even though it's something that is not naturally produced by them. It's obviously not even naturally produced by women, except when pregnant. So um, it has been proven safe. All right. So little funny quips to uh, finish your day. I'm a little nervous about our way in tomorrow. We'll see how we uh, we'll see how we do. Oh, I do have to admit. Hmm. True confessions. I had a meltdown yesterday and I just, there was a bag of tortilla chips sitting out on the island, which I walked by three times and still nobody had put away. And I grabbed the bag and held it and was taking it to the pantry and I, the urge was overwhelming. Now, yesterday I felt a little out of it. I didn't exercise at all yesterday. Um, I, 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 I ate pretty good. I had um, two turkey sausages, a protein snack. I had my fish with the lettuce for my meal. But like, I just kind of felt off all day. And I had probably about five. Now with the little round ones. Giant Eagle is a grocery store that's by us. You probably don't have a Giant Eagle by you. I think it's Giant Eagle's brand. But they're really good tortilla chips. And they're store brands, so they're really cheap. They're extremely salty extremely salty, which I love. I mean, the saltier, the better. So I, I took a few of these, I would say, I don't know, because there were some crumbled up, I would say probably the equivalent of maybe five of these little round ones. Cheated. That was a cheat. Um, I will say that about 15, 20 minutes later, I felt significantly better. So I found that interesting. I guess well, I guess I am only five days in. So it's my body starting to get in ketosis, but then was kind of fighting it. So I really shouldn't have done that because that probably just kicked me right out. Even though there were only five small ones, it, it may have, I don't know. I'll, I'll get the little keto sticks and pee on them later and see what it says. Um, so with a combination of that happening yesterday and knowing that sometimes it takes a day or two, excuse me, I have the hiccups. Um, it takes a day or two to show up on the scale, along with the fact that I'm not quite sure what I'm having for breakfast this morning. Um, I mean, maybe there's bread or 
potatoes in it or, you know, like something that's really going to throw me off. But I don't know. I'm going to take my drops and hope that that satisfies me enough that I can just have a small portion um, and we can visit and um, I can make it short. I have to go to a track meeting today, too. So I'm not sure if I'm going to get my nap in today. Ding, 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 ding. Oh, look at all this. Okay, Um, I'm going to go. I'm going to answer all my little wee chats that are coming from my little girl here. And um, it's probably about scheduling. And I will see you tomorrow with a new update. Bye.